Hello everybody. Welcome to Scotty's Side. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is going to be a response video. I've never done a response video before, so this ought to be cool. Um, this one is from a Technology Review, MIT. And it's the manosphere is getting more toxic as angry men join the incels. Ooh. All right. Let's crack right into it. Uh, men from less extreme uh, in, from the less extreme end of the misogynistic spectrum are drifting towards groups that espouse violence against women. A new study suggests by Ta Tanya Basu. I don't know. So this is from February, you know, a lot earlier, um, over a year ago. But I um, can't remember where I saw this. Probably one of my Discord servers. But I thought it was interesting to talk about. So let's crack right into it, huh? Um, in 2014, Elliot Roger went on a shooting and stabbing spree, killing six and injuring 14 at the University of California, Santa Barbara. Roger was a self-proclaimed incel, uh, short for involuntary celibate, a group of young men who feel furious at their perceived rejection by women and meet online to discuss and spread their ideology. All right, let's stop right there. Um, spread their ideology. What ideology? Uh, there is no incel ideology. That's just bunk uh their toxic misogyny fuels a hatred for women that has led to several recent incidents of mass violence with many incels citing roger's own disturbing manifesto as an inspiration yeah the authorities are taking note <laughs> i bet yeah uh yes the uh the thought police are still at large Got to protect those strong, independent women, right? <laughs> Last month, the Texas Department of Public Safety released a report finding that incels, quote, are an emerging domestic terrorism threat as current adherents demonstrate marked acts of or threats of violence in furtherance of their social grievance. All right. Now a group of computer scientists have painted the most complete picture yet of the misogynistic groups that fuel the incel movement online. <laughs> computer scientists, huh? You think those are, you know, alpha men? Those are, uh, you know, really high quality, the top of the line guys there? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. The Manosphere, as it is known, is divided into four broad groups. Men's rights activists, MRAs, claim that family, law, and social institutions discriminate against men. They do. Men going their own way take this feeling of grievance further, arguing that society can be amended. They often avoid women, blaming them for their problems. No, no, no. No. They don't blame them at all. Okay. They're just, they're just aware of what women can do. Not that they'll all do it. No, we know that. Um, it's just that they can. Um, it's a completely reasonable response to how society treats men as a whole. MGTOW don't hate women. So let's get that, you know, let's get that out of here. Um, pickup artists, PUAs, meanwhile, date and harass women. They believe society is feminizing men. <laughs> How can you date and harass someone? Would you be really dating someone if they were harassing you? That doesn't make any sense. And, uh, you know, they're, they're correct about the last part. And then there are the incels, the most potentially violent of the group. Incels abide by the black pill. Uh, I believe that women use their sexual power to dominate men socially. For that, incels want revenge. 
Uh, the team's analysis found that the manosphere is evolving and fast. Over the past 10 years, the population of men identifying as men's rights activists in MGTOW, traditionally older and less violent, is falling while younger, more toxic PUA and incel communities have seen a spike. <gasps> Worryingly, oh no, it seems that uh, there has been a significant migration from men's rights groups to incel groups. Every year since 2015, around 8% of MRA or MGTOW members appear to have become more radicalized and joined incel groups online. Uh, okay, is this from your group of computer scientists? Um, look, I visit a lot of these communities and I don't see anything that you're seeing tanya so i think you're way off and an alarmist the older groups are dying off says co-author jonathan blackburn an assistant professor at Birmingham, or i'm sorry bing hampton university uh a very fair and honest school that i'm sure does not have forced gender studies classes um and isn't super liberal at all no Indeed, it seems that not only are older, less violent groups dying off, but membership in the more violent groups is becoming more toxic. To determine the level of hate being espoused what? by these groups, the team used a machine learning tool developed by Google called Perspective. Oh boy, here we go. That looks for keywords in speech. It produces a toxicity score to give an idea of how much hate speech is being used in these forums. Wow. <laughs> hate speech. Yeah, and Google has never, ever been dishonest. No, 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 no. They've been totally square and fair. Uh, they can totally, totally be trusted. Wink, wink. The team's analysis showed that speech in the most extreme manosphere groups, oh, extreme manosphere groups, oh boy, um, on Reddit, known as subreddits, was far more hateful than the speech of a random sample of Reddit user, users, and more on the wavelength of fringe far-right hate groups like those that frequent the social network Gab. See, this is a liberal fucking article that's for sure and it's getting worse <gasps> over time the toxicity score has risen across all manosphere forums <laughs> toxicity score oh jesus to keep track of the various manosphere groups the team had to skim seven dedicated forums so this all came from just seven forums along with 57 subreddits so only 57 subreddits and a number of specialized wiki groups, which they don't list. Many of these wikis sprang up after the groups were banned from social media for their extreme views. <sighs> right, so which ones? You're being awfully vague in your research here, Tanya. Uh, the team built software to scrape information on threads dating back to 2015, encompassing 138,000 users and 7.5 million posts. Uh, the way these groups use language made the task tricky. Summer Long, a research assistant on the project, said that the extreme end of the manosphere often uses vulgarity as a self-depreciating measure, uh, which can confuse the system trained to look for such words. Yeah, boy. Incels also often use seemingly un innocuous language to sidestep Reddit moderators. One term that appeared often was SMV, which stands for sexual market value. A real thing. Uh, and one common trope is spinning plates. Yeah. Used by pickup artists, not just them, who date as many women bleh, who date as many women as possible. Um to a casual observer, those words might mean nothing. To a wannabe incel... Can you see that eye roll, guys? 
Oh boy. Wannabe incels. Tanya, you think men want to be incels? <sighs> Jesus. They are a sign he's come to the right place. It's worth noting that this is a big challenge and that our way of measuring toxicity is not perfect. God, this this speech about toxicity is just... Come on, just get the f fucking stop, dude. Says Blackburn, noting that Google perspective has been shown to miss problemat problematic language and might even exhibit racial bias. <sighs> Still, he thinks that this is a major first step toward identifying people's migration from less violent groups to more violent ones. Oh, Jesus. So what can be done? One step might be to create tools to help spot and protect potential victims, along with an earlier analysis of when and how men's rights and MGTOW groups get radicalized, says Blackburn. See? See? More crackdowns on wrong think. God. Reddit has taken steps to crack down, blah, blah, blah. Um, but this crackdown has forced many incels toward even more extreme sites like Gab. <sighs> okay. Long said spending time in these forums and subreddits as a woman was eye-opening and that she could see how minds are poisoned in an echo chamber. Um, really? Really? Okay. So, men gaining knowledge of women's hypergamy, um, or their hypergamous nature, hypergamy, and, you know, how society shits on men, uh, that's them being poisoned. Mm-hmm. And, you know, these these liberal idiots want to talk about echo chambers. The irony, gentlemen, is just, it's delicious. Oh. But she says, it's horrifying. But you can see how it molds someone's view into being fatalistic. Fatalistic. It's a no-hope ideology. Miss Long, that is just 100% wrong. Um, and it shows how little actual research was done on this wonderful project. Um, the cherry picking. Cherry picking is the name of the game here. Obviously. Looking at this. Um, if, all, if all they did was pick out what they considered bad words and phrases and didn't see all the positive and uh the inspiring stories that are on these pl that are in these places um it just tr truly shows how ignorant these pieces of shit are you know this this whole article is just more grr men bad treat them even worse cuz you know you know that'll solve the problem yeah that'll solve you know this is this is a message to them. I'm not talking to you guys, but you idiots need to get your alarmist feminist shit out of here. You know, we're tired of it. This is why we go to these safe spaces for men where we can talk about whatever we want with without having to fear having this this backlash. Um, you know, if if you were to actually do diligent research um, and use this same toxicity score um aka made up bullshit um if if the, if you were to do this on feminist threads and subreddits you'd find the exact same thing you know if not worse um so you know let's flip the tables and put in a bunch of words and, fra and phrases that feminists like to use um you know and, and attach the same alarmist uh, way of thinking the the same uh, rhetoric and see what happens you know you'd be in for a rude fucking awakening Ta Tanya you know you wouldn't like it because it would shed light on just how shitty that the other that the other side is 
So fuck off, Tanya, you fem cell shithead. Anyway. That's my thoughts on this bullshit, guys. Um, so, yeah. Let me know how you all feel about these response videos. Um, I This seems fun, and I, I like to do it. So, um, let me know, you know, as the uh, thing there that way says... <laughs> Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Or don't. I don't care. Anyways, I gotta go. I love you all. Take care of each other. Don't listen to these idiots. They're full of shit. Take care of each other. As I said, I love you all. Even you, Tanya. Fucking femso retard. Hard R and everything. Anyway. Alright, that's all I got, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.